Welcome back! We've managed to finish the monster Sudoku puzzle from the creator of the Robocat. So now let's go off to mail it. Uh oh. Text message. Yikes, that's some for reals fashioning you're into. Nice pick. Thanks, Nancy. Fix, Nancy. Alright. Uh oh. Okay. Well, that was pretty odd. I didn't actually mean to turn there, I was trying to go upstairs and for some reason I turned to the left. Um, wait, this isn't our area, is it? No. Okay, let's go back to the other side. Oh no, sounds like another unhappy customer. I should listen to what's going on. When we first walked in the door, my wife told me she had a bad feeling about this place. But no, I told her she was being unreasonable. Well, whatever it is that's going on down here, we are not putting up with it anymore. That thing you left in our room. No one should ever see something like that. I want my money back. There was nothing there. And I want to see this place closed down. You'd never get away with something like this in Sydney. Sir, please, we are not haunted. Oh, please yourself. Ooh. Uh-oh. That's not good. So wait a minute, that means that now... We're the only ones left, right? Yep. Just me and the family. That was the last customer, wasn't it? Yes, Nancy. It's just you. <laughs> so, make yourself comfortable. We are all here for you until something happens to scare you off, too. I don't scare easily. I've heard that before. Look, I'm sorry I shouldn't be upsetting you with all of this. Please, you're my only guest left. Let me at least make sure you have a good trip. Maybe you recommend us to your friends. Well, you can help us make sure we have a good trip by helping us solve this mystery. I still want to help. Help? You want to help? Look around you. This place is beyond help. It was spooky and lonely before... Everything that happened happened, and now... Why do you think Yumi got out of this place as soon as she could? People come because they've heard it's haunted. They come here to be scared and even they can't take it. I'm sorry, Nancy. There's nothing you can do here. Help yourself and find somewhere safer to stay. No, I'm staying here. And perhaps Yumi left because of Yumi, not because of here. Come back later. Alright, so let's go to the other side to get to our room. Uh, let's see, next door. Four is supposed to be an unlucky number here. I wonder if that's a coincidence. It probably is not. Alright, did we do any new homework? Okay, there's nothing new. Alright, uh, the envelope, right. So let's get the Sudoku, put it in there for George. And now we got an addressed envelope that we can leave with Miwako. And we got some, uh, one of our origami things here from the lesson. Lessons! That's right, we need to go and talk to, uh, to Kai, I guess it's a little bit late now, but let's go ahead and set our alarm for the next day. Uh, let's see, clock... Uh, let's go back to 7 again. There we go. Better call it a night. Another day in Kyoto. Hopefully with some new developments here in the case. Uh, let's see, before we do anything, let's see if now we've got any new homework. No new homework, interesting. I thought there's usually one per day, but I guess not. Alright, well first things first, let's drop off the uh, envelope. Hi. 
Can I leave this here for my friend to pick up? Yes. Thanks. Do you think that the Ryokan is haunted? By what? Ghosts? No. Ghosts aren't real, Nancy. Do you believe that, though? I'll talk to you later. Okay, see ya. We definitely know what Takai thinks. That's a nice portrait. I, I'm glad uh, Rentro was able to fix it. Let's see. Let's visit Takai. We haven't really seen her in a while. Nanasi-san, today we learn Chado, the tea ceremony. Tea ceremony? It is much more than making tea. It is the perfect exercise of balance and courteous friendship. Many spend their lives perfecting the ceremony, but today I will simply be teaching you the basics. Actually, I'd like to ask you about... The tea ceremony is foremost a gift. You are preparing a very special visit for friends and preparing to make certain every detail is perfect. Now there is a lot to learn. Be ready. I'll be asking you questions once I've finished. Let us begin. This is called the furo. Here we have the chasen or tea whisk. Here is the chakin, the tea cloth. This is called the kensui. This bamboo ladle is called a hishaku. You place the teapot covered on the futaoki. This is the chawan or tea bowl. The tea scoop is called the chasaku. This is the tea container. It is called the natsume. Each object has its proper place in the ceremony. You must place each item where it belongs. Okay, so basically we just have to drag the names of the items out to the actual items. Let's see, this uh, was the furo. Uh, let's see, the chasen was this one. The chawan was this one. The chakin was this one. The kensui was this one. Uh, natsume was that. Futaki was this. Chashaku was this. And hishaku is this. Well done, Nancy-san. Wonderful, Nancy-san. Absolutely wonderful. I would be honored to be invited to take tea with you. Thanks. Uh-oh. What now? <gasps> Not again. That definitely looks manufactured. I mean, look how smoothly that's got gliding across there. All right, Takai, what was that? What was that just a minute ago? What do you mean? I saw something. It was the wind, the power lines, and shadows. This is nothing to worry about. Oh, no, you were gasping there. The, the, the captions even said as much. Can you translate this article for me? I'd be happy to, Nancy-san. Why would you give me this? Put it back where it goes, now. Yeah, we've basically had as much luck as we had elsewhere. Why do Yumi and Miwako fight so much? You're an only child, aren't you? <laughs> well, yes, but... Siblings fight. Let me give you some advice. If you ever have children, Nancy-san, and they are not fighting, it generally means they are hiding something that they have just broken. I gotta admit, um, she's right, though. I, I, I'm an only child, too, so... I totally sympathize with what Nancy's saying. I need to know, do you believe the Ryokan is haunted? Yes, Nancy-san. This isn't a trick someone is doing. Kasumi, she is still here. I can feel it. She's trapped and she's scared. And she's angry. Do you <coughs> really believe that? When I was a girl, the most beautiful sparrow 
from the garden flew into my room. I had been trying to lure it in with seeds I'd stolen from the gardens for weeks. At first, I was so excited to have her in my room, but not for long. She couldn't find her way back out. She became very scared, threw herself into the walls in a panic. I was so worried she would die. She was so small and so frightened. I opened the windows wide and snuck out of the room to let her calm down. An hour passed, then two, three. I'd opened the door and still she'd be there, crashing into the glass, trying so desperately to get free. Did she get out? Cosme is still here. I must help her. Well, I'm not sure if I necessarily agree. I'm sorry. I'm very busy. Oh, I guess we kind of made her mad with that, didn't we? Um, I don't believe there's anything else we can look at. We just have the same stuff here. Interesting conversation, though. Let me see if George has uh, gotten the Sudoku yet. Uh, even though we just left it back there. Nancy, what's up? Did you get the avatar I sent you, Bess? I should find an outfit just like that. Did you get that paper doll I sent, George? I'm getting an outfit just like that one. Were you able to find the word to calm Suki? Yeah, it's Mate. 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 Got it. Thanks. Need anything else? Yumi sent me a great picture of you two. Oh, isn't that cool? I love the poor Cora booth here. I'll show you where a really great one is if you get done with your mystery before we have to head back home. I'm working on it. I promise I'll see you guys soon. I'm not getting very far with Miwako. What do you mean? She never seems to answer my questions directly. Yeah. That's never a good sign. I'd keep an eye on her. She could just be quiet, or she could be hiding something. Did you learn any more Suki commands? Oh yeah, get a piece of paper, I've got a bunch. Tate, that means stand. We saw that one. Omori, not sure what that one is. And we've got Buruwa, that means something. Oh, and Shizukani. I think that's it. Alright, we'll try those out. Hopefully none of them do anything really bad. I had another strange run-in with a ghost here. What happened this time? I was in the hallway, and one by one the door started to slam, and I heard the sound of water dripping. Creepy. Just thinking about that, I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Not sure how you do it. It is a little creepy, I'll admit that. I just need to figure out how someone could do it. Good call. It could be pretty easily automated, I think. The question is, if that were the case, who would be knowledgeable enough to pull it off? It seems like Rentro would be a good candidate, but is someone else around here um, holding knowledge about how to rig something like that so that they're not sharing with us? I'll stop bugging you now. Bye, Nancy! Or is it possible multiple people we know are working together? Um, tell you what, before we do anything else, while we're on the phone, let's call Savannah. Logan speaking. Is this Nancy? Yep. Yes. Great, I'm so glad you called. Why? So you can hang up on me again? Oh, that, don't take that personally. I'm an assistant. My job mostly consists of hanging up on people. That and remembering birthdays. I met your friend Bess, and this is probably awkward, but... I know we haven't gotten off to the best start, but I'm really not a bad guy, and she's really cute. Oh. And maybe you could help a dude out? All right. What? Well, she said she's going to be hanging around the expo, and maybe you could, like, tell me about what she likes, or maybe give me some idea of what I might say to fill the awkward pauses. You may have noticed, but for the last while I've been with Savannah, most of my conversations have been about ten seconds long, and they usually end up with me hanging up on someone. And I don't think that's going to cut it. Yeah. Oh, I see. Do you think you could help? 
Well, I was talking to her, and she really wants a copy of Savannah's book. <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. Okay. As a gesture of goodwill, I'll do it. And Nancy, I'm sorry I hung up on you. That's okay. And Nancy, I might have to do it again. But should that happen, it's just business. Bye, Logan. Alright, so it looks like we're finally going to get a copy of this book, which is good news. Okay, well right now it's about 7.20, so to pass the time before the front desk closes, why don't we go off to the parlor, because we haven't been there since toward the beginning of our journey, and now we got a card, and we've been meaning to go there for quite some time. And we really want to buy that comic that's there, uh, or at least Nancy really wants to buy it. So if that can help us out, then that'd be great. Plus, Rentero told us that the machine on the right has better odds, so why don't we use this one? So, um, basically this is a luck thing, I mean, you can play this how many ever times you want, but uh, you launch balls up here, and then depending on how they go into the things, this little thing will just do three symbols, and yeah, like they're, you know... If they're the same, then you'll get more, obviously. And I think there's some like the stars, like if you get three stars, then you'll get a lot of uh, points. Okay, so this so far is going pretty well. I'm just going to spam the balls here until... Awesome. That's not cool. But that is... Wow, this is actually going a little better than normal. Okay, maybe I spoke too soon on that. Awesome. Yeah, the stars are, are great. Okay, that's it for one round. Wow. That was a very productive round, sweet. Uh, let's see, there we go. It's at the back way to get your uh, winnings there. And here you can put the winnings into the prize container to gain access to a prize. And what Nancy was looking at was this comic book here, which costs just a little bit more than what we've got, so let's play one more time. Oops, I think we just have to go... He here? There we go. Okay, let's try again. Oop, that's the train thing, isn't it? This one's what we want. The good news is that we don't really need a lot, so I'm just gonna keep spamming the button until we run out of balls. Yeah, I think even if you get one star, you'll get some points. Okay, this round is not quite as good as the last one. Yeah. Come on. Okay, that's good. Cool. Alright, so it looks like that's it for that one. Let's see how much we've got. We've got 15, 12. Okay, that's enough. I was kind of worried there for a minute. And we just need 13, 39 for the comic. Now, you do get an achievement if you were to buy out the entire place, but I'm not going to waste my time doing that. Alright, I guess it weighs it. Uh, there we go. The Adventures of Koji and Kit. Alright, well, let's take a look at what this is about. Hooray! You really get on my nerves. Okay, that's a terrible pun. Starring Koji and Kit. Alright, so... Apparently these guys are Ghostbuster type people or something. And they're going to some old house and 
Recording the site of a haunting might actually be a really good idea. I should look into that. Okay, so apparently these guys like to record stuff, so we might want to look into that. Maybe that's something we can call Savannah about. So, why don't we go ahead and... Oh wait, there's one more thing we can do here. I found out since the last time we were here that there's actually an opportunity to get an Easter egg. Um, wait, is this thing not working anymore? Okay, I guess we it's not working, but we can still print photos. So all we need to do is just insert our phone into there. Whoops. Print photo. Here we go. You just need to print this one. And you get an Easter egg. Buck, 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 buck. All right. Getting the Easter egg just gets you another achievement or trophy at the very end of the game. Alright, let's try calling Savannah again. Logan here. Were you able to find a copy of the book? I did. But before I send it, I need to ask you another favor. I want to get Bess a present. She said she was looking for the perfect outfit. I think that'd be a great gift. But I have no clue what to do in a clothing store. I sort of just freeze at the sight of hangers. I think it's genetic. I'll see what I can do. I know of a program that might be just the thing. Great, thanks. I'll stop bugging you now. Bye. Okay, so in that case, let's go ahead and head on to um, Kurume. To uh, Yumi's apartment. And use that program. Now the good news is that we've already made the avatar, all we need to do is just send it on to Savannah's number. And this time I will remember to use the key. Let's see, I believe the one we made for best was this. So let's see, 404-555-4478. Thankfully I've got it down here. That was fast. Thanks, Nancy. Okay, let's go back to the Ryokan. I'm so glad we do not have to do the train puzzle every time we take the trains. Alright, and this time let's go over here. We'll go the right way this time. Let's call Logan. Er, yeah, Savannah. Nancy, I got the picture you sent. I'm going to take it to that boutique she mentioned and let them do... Whatever it is they do. Good. So you'll be sending the book? Yeah. I was thinking I'd give it to Bess, like, Hey, here's that book you want, and since I'm here, let's get dinner, and I got you a present. <laughs> <sighs> Whatever works. <laughs> but the sooner I get that book, the better. I get the impression Logan doesn't do this very much. I should go. I'll talk to you later. Talk to you later. Okay, I thought there would be something here, but I guess it hasn't appeared quite yet. Um... Let's see, before we set the alarm for 1 o'clock, and it's, oh, it's still pretty early. I thought that there was going to be a lot of time that would pass there. Let's go and talk to everybody as much as we can. Hello. Why does Takai think your mother's ghost... Stop. I don't indulge her, and don't you do it either. So, you don't believe it? That's my mother you're talking about, Nancy. You forget that. I'll stop bugging you now. Bye. So does she really not believe it, or is she hiding something? We don't really know. Um, uh, there you go. I was say, I couldn't seem to zoom out there. We haven't talked to Rentaro in a while. Hey. 
Miwako seems a little frustrated lately. Why wouldn't she be? The way guests have been filing out. But maybe she'll finally come to her senses and move to the city with me. Hmm, so you want to get out of the Ryokan. So you grew up next door? My dad and I moved in when I was about seven. Why do you spend all of your time here when you live just next door? Never got my room decorated right. Plus, this place has always been more fun. And Miwako's here. And I've got my workshop. Well, that all sounds like good reason. I saw some more guests just leave. They seemed pretty spooked. Yeah, those poor people. What happened? Who knows? They were too upset to make any sense. But I took care of their room after they left. I admit, it was a little spooky. Everything was torn up, like someone had taken the whole ryokan and given it a shake. And the shoji had turned this dark ash cutter. Something weird happened in there. I wonder what it was they found in the room that the guy was so upset about. Thanks for repairing my screen. That was pretty embarrassing. Oh, no problem. Easy fix. Just took a little steam to loosen the paper, a little new glue. No one will ever be able to tell. Just don't do it again. Or at least wait until the paper cuts heal. Ooh. I think thinking about paper cuts is way worse than getting them. <laughs> Why did I bring it up? He's right, though. I, I, I'm the same way. Every time I think about it, it's like I've got a new one. When did the Ryokan get a reputation for being haunted? A few summers back. We were fully packed that night. It was festival time. There was this terrible scream coming from the baths. Next thing I know, the paramedics were there. This woman had seen something. She went into shock. What had she seen? She never said. A lot of people asked, trust me. But whatever she saw, or thought she saw, everyone else wanted to see it too. People started coming and pretending they could sense spirits or whatever. But a few of them... What? Uh, nothing. Never mind. It's nothing. No, what is it? What do you think of Yumi? She's pretty much the older sister you want to have. She's cool, she's adventurous, she's a pain. But no matter what, she's got your back. Although, man, can she be bossy. Yeah. I'm sure she's already put you to work. Yeah, a little. That bossy thing is just her special way of saying, I am your boss, now do what I say. <laughs> how are things going between you and Miwako right now? You know how in the romantic movies the couple is only really happy together for like a minute at the very end? I guess so. That's sort of how our relationship is. Except the movie restarts every week. Honestly, it gets a little tiring sometimes. I get the impression that that's what the vast majority of relationships are like. I'll talk to you later. Peace out. Okay, so we've talked to Rentaro. Uh, let's see if we can talk to Takai again now that we've been out for a while. Is this the way in? I don't think it is. Let's go back to the other side. Hello, Nancy-san. We fixed the portrait. I think it's back up in the lobby. It is, yes. Rentaro tells me that it's very important to you. Yes, it is very important to all of us. Why were you so upset when it fell? You would be upset if something you love broke. There was more to it than that. Yeah. No, that was all. Why doesn't Yumi want to work here? She will. She is just like her mother at that age. She listens to no one, not even herself. Why can't Miwako just take over the Ryokan? Yeah. You do not understand. That is not how it works. But she's here now. It is not what Kasumi wants. What do you mean, wants? Nancy-san, I'm sorry, but I am very tired. I should rest. Hello, Nancy-san. Do you remember when Savannah Woodham visited? 
I don't recognize the name. She's the one who wrote about the Ryokan. I said, I do not know who she is. I get the impression that she knows more than she's letting on. Have you been to Yumi's bento stand? No. It's great. You'd love it. I taught her how to cook for many years. I should not have to sit on the train to try her bento. <laughs> Well, I gotta admit, the game does kind of minimize what it's like to wait a while to get from place to place. I'll let you get back to work. Goodbye. Alright, so now that we've talked to everybody, let's go back up to our room and set the clock for 1 o'clock and see if we can get past Suki. Uh, if I can find my way back. There we go. Oh, wait. This way. I always keep doing that. Cat. What's up, cat? Tate. Suki? Tate. What's up, cat? Omawari. Oh, nice. Man, I don't know of any real life cats I can do that. Suki, who's a good girl? Suki, Buddha wa. Oh, I don't want to do that again. Suki, she's a Connie. Aww, she's so cute. What's up, cat? Okay, let's get her out of the guard mode. Suki, mate. Alright, okay, now we can gain access to the stuff here. Okay, so this is the puzzle box that we saw the instructions for earlier. Now, this is basically kind of a memory thing, where you have to try different things and remember what each step is when you try to figure out the next step. So, in junior mode, there are six steps, and in senior mode, there are some additional ones. Now, I've actually got the solution right here in front of me, so I'll just go ahead and do it. But basically... Uh, hang on a sec. There we go. Uh, as the instructions said, you want to uh, put everything down, the entire panel. And here you can see that the first latch has come out. Now, the second step, you want to go move it to the left, the just the middle one. There we go. The third step, you want to highlight everything and move it up, like such. And then the fourth one, you just want to highlight the bottom one and move it to the right, like that. Now the fifth one, you move the middle to the left again. And then the sixth step, you highlight the top right one and move it to the right. And then the two additional steps for senior mode are to get the top left one to the left. Which, oh, there you go. And then finally, just the middle one only to the right. Alright, it's open. Sweet. Well, we got a tile piece here. And an envelope. I need to translate this. Let's see, what does that say? Where is it? Is this the dictionary? Oh wait, that's not the dictionary. Um, I know it's staring me like dead in the face. Well, it was the dictionary. Um, so can't I just use it? Hmm, there you go. I need a way to open this envelope without anyone knowing I did. Okay, so this must have the password to the computer. But how are we gonna do that though? 
Dear Marianne, it's finally winter. You'll be here in a few weeks, and I might just end up giving you this letter in person, sorry. It snowed for the first time last night. It's always my favorite night of the year. Miwako and Rentaro came in the house looking like a couple of snowmen. We had hot tea by the fire, and for a full ten minutes, Rentaro was too cold to talk. That was really nice. It had been a while since I'd spent any time around Miwako, and for once I caught her in a chatty mood. She's gotten so quiet lately. She's been like a shadow wandering around the house. But last night I was, she was back to the funny, goofy girl I remember from um, not long ago. Then, you won't believe this, Yumi came in and joined us of her own free will. And then my mother came in, and we all played a game. No one was forced to join in. There was no bickering. Rentaro didn't even have a freak out over the rules midway through. It was like a gift from the universe. I knew that in the morning we'd be back to the bickering, the complaining, the moody silences. But it didn't matter. One night like that is worth years of near misses. Sounds like a really special time. Well, that's all we can really see here. So what are we going to do now? Well, actually, before we do anything else, I do want to see if we can go to the baths and use that tile piece, because Nancy mentioned a tile piece missing there earlier. Uh, let's see here. Oh, wait. I just turned myself around. Here we go. Let's see, we were looking at this, right? Alright, we got a puzzle here. So, looks like what we need to do is we need to get the pieces in here, inside this um, diamond here. And we can only use this triangle, we can't use anything else. Alright, I'm going to try to see if I can solve this without any help. Whoops. That. There. Okay, so we pretty much got the amount of space left that covers this, but we just arranged everything wrong. Alright, let's try again. Okay, let's see if we can do that instead, and... Okay, that's not going to work, is it? Okay, maybe the key is to put this somewhere else. Like that. Well, no, I can't do that, because that would require two of those small triangles. So it's looking like you absolutely have to put this as such. Let's try going this route. Except I'm gonna have to move this somewhere where I can... Will this work? Okay, not quite. Hmm. How am I going to get that diamond piece in there? That's... Maybe we should just go ahead and put that in. One day I'm going to get this. Okay, I think this is close. Yes, got it. Ooh. Stop, I've had it. You can't keep avoiding me. Leave me alone about this. No, 
You keep promising me you'll talk to me about moving, and every time I bring it up to you, you freak. It's not fair. 私のことはほっといて。もっとおとなしく踏ん張ってよ。おっしゅ、walk away just like always. Well, maybe I won't be here when you get back. That didn't sound good. Also, oh, we have to build the whole thing again. That looked like a room we haven't even been to yet, so I wonder where that can be accessed from. Well, I guess we're going to have to investigate more in the next video.